They're off. Can do it in both Jeff Wells. So did Lucas Cranach and Act First Sight. No, what got away well. So did Elo and Precedence down on the inside and lost at the moments. Prominent with the Verminator Drunk and Soda in behind them. Talamore shot straight over onto the fence from an outside barrier. Let's see American. He's got back beyond midfield. Managar's improving out wide. Dunedin about the middle of the bunch. Shamrock are very deep. And it's a moderate tempo and they are really bunched up. Don't often see them this tightly possessioned with Elo a narrow leader. Nywat going up on his outside. And at first sight right up there on the pace with Managar deeper. Just off them jukebox jury precedence pulling over on the inside followed by the Verminator as they come down towards the judge. Not far away, Moyon Corniche, followed by Lost in the moment. Hit me about seven or eight lengths off the lead, but they're not going quickly. Moden, his stablemate on his outside. Drunken side of the fence. Shamrock can't get in. Lucas Cranach, tell him, oh, Hawk Island nearly fell. He got skittled there. They're followed by Dunedin. Fox Hunt's on his outside. Further back as they leave the straight American on the back of Fox Hunt and Red Cadeau. Hawk Island trying to recover. Snapped a party well back, followed by Unusual Suspect. And then came at the end of the field here is Older Than Time. And back uh, there with him is Glass Harmonium. So he is back last. So they head out towards the 1,700 metres. And Elo goes away with a long, long lead early in the Melbourne Cup. And he goes six or seven lengths on Managar. About three lengths away at first sight. Then Jukebox Jury and uh, Nywat on the inside. Precedence pulling his way around them. Then Moyon Kanis and the Verminator. Drunken Sailor a length and a half away. Next over on the inside. And he's being followed lost in the moment. Moden right behind him. Then Lucas Cranach. Tullamore in the brown colours the rail from Shamrocker. Then Dunedin. Well back is Hawk Island. And Fox Hunt. Red Cadeau. American. Scepter Party. Unusual suspect. And older than time, second last, and Glass Harmonium is at the tail of the field. About 1,300 metres left to go. It's Elo, the leader. Cummings pair out in front for the time being. At the 1,200 metres, Elo by three lengths precedence. Three lengths Managar, Jukebox Jury at first sight, running down in fifth placing. A length and a half, Boyon Corniche down on the inside rail, followed by Nywat on his outside. Then came the Verminator, a thousand to go. Moden next from Drunken Sailor, Lucas Cranach, Shamrocker out wide. Tullamore next and then Dunedin about 10 off the leader. Followed Hawk Island at Fox Hunt, Red Cadeau. And then came Glass Harmonium, Scepter Party, American with a lot to do today. Then Unusual Suspect and Older Than Time on the swing. And it's the two Cummings runners still. Elo the inside and precedence. The challenges are coming. Nywat around the outside puts in his run. Moden's off the track. Menegar comes on. Then came at first sight looking for the way clear. Dunedin trying to wire fight away through Lucas Cranach on the scene with a big run. With 300 metres to go now, Precedence hit the lead, but Managar challenges strongly. Lucas Cranach and getting up on the inside, lost in the moment with a challenge. Here's Red Cadeau starting to flash home on the outside now. Lucas Cranach hit the lead. Red Cadeau coming down the outside. Dunedin is coming through in the middle. Dunedin, Red Cadeau and Lucas Cranach. Dunedin is coming hard. Dunedin, Red Cadeau. Dunedin and Red Cadeau, they hit the line. A photo finish between Dunedin. In and Red Cadeau, nothing in it. Third placing Lucas Cranach, I'd say, from American. Not much between those two. They're racing in the 88 Foster's Melbourne Cup, and Mike down on the inside has jumped away well. Mr. Bunny Thorpe is prominent. Natsky drops behind, and so does Full at last. Orthal is up in a prominent spot, and Apollo run just behind the pace, and then Congressman Kenzai is just behind them, and they're being attended over a little bit further by Narboto, which Candida is racing with them, and out deeper on the track, Lord Highbrow going up to occupy a forward berth from Copper Tonic, and Empire Rose is the widest of all, and Banderol has dropped out to last. Natsky is third last. As they race down the straight the first time, Orthal in front, there's no pace on. Midas on the inside of Lord Highbrow. Empire Rose going up into second placing now from Copper Tonic, then Narbotto, Belciano. It's Candide, Shantaroon, Apollo run, Congressman. Terrific three wide, Mr. Bunny Thorpe. Ideal centre man, Kenzai, Secret Seal. Our classic bay followed by Full at last, and then round the world followed by Natsky, and a gap then to Algonquin Club and Banderol is last 20 lengths from the lead. It's Thompson on Othal in front in a slowly run race going to the 2000. Leads here by about two lengths over Empire Rose on the outside of Might. A length and a half to Lord Highbrow. They're followed by Narbotto. Copper Tonic is next. Two lengths Belciano and it's Candide. Shantaroon and Apollo run followed by Terrific one off the rail. Mr B Bunny Thorpe. Our classic Bay is going up then Congressman. Kenzai is over on the inside. Ideal centre man. Secret 
Scarlet Seal racing wide, then full at last and round the world. A gap to Natsky's at least 20 lengths off the pace. Banderol and Algonquin Club. Not much change in the order as they go by the 1600 and Orthal pilots the field by about a length and a half over Empire Rose on the outside of Might. They are being followed by Narbotto who is over on the inside of Lord Highbrow. At the head of the others came our classic Bay and there attended by its Candide from Copper Tonic, Apollo Run and then Belciano. Terrific is next followed by Shantaroon, Mr Bunnythorpe. Kenzai is over on the inside of Ideal Centerman from Congressman. Round the world full at last followed by Secret Seal and then Natsuki, Banderol and Algonquin Club. They're spread right out as they come up now with a thousand metres to go. Orthal trying to lead all the way as a length and a half to Empire Rose on the outside of Might. They're followed by our classic Bay. Then came on the inside Narbotto being followed then by Copper Tonic. Lord Highbrow Apollo Run. It's Candida's on the fence followed by Belciano. Then Mr Bunnythorpe, Shantaroon, Ideal Centerman. Kenzai at least 12 lengths off the lead and Natsuki is starting a run back behind them and full at last is racing with them and so is Congressman and Banderol is the back of the rear as they straighten up for the run home. 500 metres to go in the Foster's Melbourne Cup and here goes Empire Rose up to challenge Orthal. Two lengths farther away at the head of the others, our classic Bay Apollo run down the outside. It's Candide called upon for a effort. Mr Bunnythorpe and down the outside Natsuki's flying from Ideal Centre Man. Empire Rose hit the front and went clear from Apollo run. Natsuki finishing gamely. It's Empire Rose in front. Natsuki trying to pick it up from Narbotto. Empire Rose just in front. Natsuki coming hard, a desperate finish. I think Empire Rose has just won from Natsuki. Third placing to Narbotto. And away to a great start in the Melbourne Cup and Salamander on the inside was the first to jump out with Ruff and Tuffer. Red Nose jumped out well and so did Sarfraz and going up quickly is Dulcify. They were followed by Ico and back behind them in the field is Worry Symbol and Safe Harbour and then Kankama. As they race down the straight the first time and on the inside Sarfraz has gone to the front from Ico. Salamander over on the inside is third followed by Love Bandita. They were followed further back by Red Nose on the inside of Horberg then Dulcify. Deeper on the track came Worry Symbol followed by Safe Harbour. In behind the Magistrate then came Hyperno. Next over on the inside Cubicator. They're followed by Licence Fee and further away Somerset Nile, followed by Earthquake Maguna. Next is Pagal and then came Karu on the rails. A length and a half further back is Kankama. Rough and Tough is in behind them, followed by Over the Ocean and tailing out to the rear of the field is Josephine approaching the judges box with just over a circuit left to go and Safraz leads the way. About a length to Safe Harbour, two lengths to Salamander on the inside of Love Bandita. A length to Red Nose over on the inside of Hallberg and three deep then. At the head of the others came Ico. They're followed by Dulcify on the inside of Worry Symbol. Magistrate is next, followed close by Hyperno, then Cubicate on the rails, they're followed by Licence Fee and further away came Somerset Nile. The next earthquake, Maguna. Further back in the field, Pagal. A long way back in the field is Karu at that point. Uh, then Can Karma, followed by Rough and Tough from over the ocean. Uh, and Giuseppe is last of all along the riverside of the track, and the leader still Safraza. Uh, about a length to Safe Harbour, two and a half lengths further back, Salamander, who's over on the inside of Love Bandit. Uh, a length and a half to Horberg on the outside of Red Nose. Then came Magistrate on the rails. Uh, next, Dulcify. A length further back, Cubicate on the inside of Hyperno. Uh, and Worry Symbol is next over on the outside, two lengths further back then. Uh, at the head of the rest of them, came Licence Fee there, followed by Somerset Nyla. A good long gap further back in the field, Carver on the inside, and he was followed then by Gunderman, who's got a long way out of his ground. Coming up past the 1400 metre mark, and Safraz by length to Safe Harbour. In behind them, two lengths away, Salamander, followed by Love Bandit, two lengths to Horberger. Red Nose is next on the rails, about three lengths further back as Magistrate Dulcify going forward. So is Hyperno on the outside, and back behind them came Ikoa. As they race up towards Chiquita Lodge, it's still Safraz making play. He's about a length and a half to Safe Harbour. Then Love Bandit, they're followed by Horberger coming into the picture, so is Salamander. In behind them at the head of the others, then making ground is Hyperno, and Dulcify is further back in the field followed by Red Nose as they come around the home turn uh, at the 800 metre mark Safraz about a length to Safe Harbour on the outside was Horberg there followed by Love Bandit uh, then Red Nose and further back to Hyperno and Dulcify I think something's gone amiss with Dulcify Dulcify is dropping out of the race I think he's broken down as they straighten up uh, where it's Safraz being tackled by Horberg uh, and over on the outside Red Nose is putting in a claim there followed by Salamander looking for a runner Hyperno is finishing well down the outside then Cubicate and Worry Symbol uh, halfway down the running and Red Nose 
Lewis raced up to tackle Horberger. Salamander getting through on the inside and four deep finishing well. Hyperno. Here's a great go. Salamander takes the lead in the Melbourne cover. Hyperno, the big danger on the inside. Salamander. Hyperno coming at it. Salamander. Hyperno. Hyperno, Salamander. Hyperno, Salamander. They hit the line. And Hyperno has won it by a nose to Salamander. Off. Might and power began well from Skybo down on the inside. Marble hauls away quickly. Yobro dropping in behind them. Di grabbed hold of Ebony Grove and he shoots across the heels towards the rail. Court of Honour began quickly. So did Bayali over on the outside. And Sunny Lane from her wide barriers going forward with linesmen tracking her up. Might and power just led. Sunny Lane taking her on in the early stages. Marble hauls just behind them as third. Followed by crying game outside Court of Honour. And linesmen deeper still. Up there too is Viali from Magnet Bay. Markham and Grandmaster over on the inside. Sapio going forward wide on the course around always aloof Arabian story. Bonsai pipeline next on the outside followed by Alfred and Glinda pull in the early stages. Harbour Dews outside it and Count Chivas the rail. Wonder Remus followed by Skybo Scrupulous and Ebony Grave is at the back of the field as might and power the Caulfield Cup winner. Pulling against Jim Cassidy took the lead with a circuit to run by two links to linesman outside Marble Halls is also fighting the rider. Crying game is next on the outside followed by Court of Honour getting a lovely travel in behind Marble Halls, followed then by Yobro on the fence and then Sunny Lane Viali. Sapio the outside is travelling deep, Markham is travelling sweetly on the rails, one magnet Bay always aloof Grandmaster Bonsai Pipeline is three deep past the 2000 Wonder Count Chivas Arabian Story, next is Doremus Harbour Dews following Arabian Story on the outside of Doremus and then came Ebony Grove one and a half Alpha who's drifted right back through the field now from Sky Bow and Scrupulous is last of all past the 1800 and Might and Power trying to do it all the way as he did in the Caulfield Cup leads three quarters to crying game second two lengths to Marble Halls a head away fourth on the outside as Linesman caught of on a Yobro two lengths further back as Markham and Viali Bonsai Pipeline is wide so is Sapio around Magnet Bay Grandmaster over on the inside there as they head past the 1400 Magnet Bay one further back as always aloof and he's followed by Arabian Story Count Chivas and next to Remus Harbour Dews the outside of him is three deep Two links to Ebony Grove, who's got up inside Alpha, and then Sky Bow and Scrupulous back last of all. Past the 1,200 metres now. Might and power the leader, three quarters in front of Crying Game. Hard ridden to be up there, second on his outside. Two links further back in the field. Linesman on the outside of Marble Halls. A length and a half to Court of Honour and Yobro. Two links further back as Markham on the inside of Bonsai Pipeline and Viali the centre. One further back as Magnet Bay. Sapio around it. Grandmaster sneaking up on the rail from always aloof Arabian story. Count Chivers and Doremus a good way back, Bonsai Pipeline has dropped out of it, followed by Harbour Dews when they came near to the turn, Ebony Grove's got some work to do and Alpha's one of the last when they swept to the turn, where Linesman raced up and joined Might and Power, the brothers Cassidy turn around the bend together Linesman under the whip and Might and Power they lead from Yobro, third entering the straight Grandmaster's coming home along the inside from Sapio, here comes Doremus with a run, Arabian Story is next and then Viali, Might and Power shook off Linesman though, at the 300 he raced out by two lengths with Doremus, Challenging. Ebony Groves getting a rails run, followed by Grandmaster and Markham. Might and power the leader inside the 200. Two lengths in front of Linesman and then Doremus on the outside. Might and power the leader. Doremus trying hardest, coming at him. Might and power and Doremus. Doremus getting the might and power. They hit the line. Photo. Oh, nothing between them. Doremus or might and power in a close go. Photo third, either Markham or Harbour Dews is there. And they're off. Mad Rush jumped well on the inside and so did Sailor Gear, Master O'Reilly, Gino dropped in, Nom de Jure seemed to get away okay. Viewed handy too, Septimus is going up with Red Lord, Prize Lady is coming over quickly. Boundless is up on the speed, Varave coming over, Moatee's trying to slot in, Latourio went right back towards the end in company with Newport. Honolulu still on a wide run, right behind him is Alessandra Volta sorting out their order now, they stretch across the track. And here it's Septimus with a narrow lead with Boundless on his outside. Barbaric is on the rail. Varave in the black colours is up there. Deeper is Honolulu. Alessandra Volta is still staying out about six wide down the straight. Moatee's prize lady in behind the leading bunch and they're followed two lengths away by Bude. 
Profound Lady in on the fence, one further back is Red Lord, about three Master O'Reilly, one gallop at a length and a half, Bauer, Nom de Zer getting up on the inside, being followed two lengths away to Mad Rush, Sailor Gear, and zipping the stablemates, racing hand into one another, followed by Newport, Gino, Latorio, and Ice Chariot on the rail last of all. As they went out towards the riverside now, and Alessandra Volta takes over the running, and he leads by two lengths to Septimus, a length away Honolulu, they're going to ensure a very strong gallop in the Melbourne Cup there, four links in advance of Boundless, who's moved up into fourth, placing on the outside of Barbaricus, two links then to Varavay, a length and a half to Moatai's prize lady, a length to Viewed, then came Profound Beauty and two links away, Master O'Reilly, Red Lord, a length further back is Nom de Jour, a length and a half to Gallop and followed by Mad Rush and Bauer, one further back, Sail the Gear and then Zipping and Newport, Gino, Ice Chariot and Latourio as last of all. Alessandra Volta takes them out to the 1400 and he leads by two lengths. Septimus second on the inside, Honolulu on the outside and they're about six lengths in front now. From Boundless fourth and then Barbaricus a length away fifth, a length and a half to Moa Tees, Varavay on the inside, two lengths away then came uh, back on the inside Prize Lady as they go down the side and then came Viewed on the outside. Past the 1200 metres, two lengths, Profound Lady. She's being followed by Profound Beauty and then Master O'Reilly. Red Lord, Nom de Jour, two links to Gallop and Mad Rush a long way back. So is Bauer and Sailor Gear behind them in Newport and Zipping and then Gino, Ice Chariot and Latorio last. They're up towards the turn. Alessandra Volta had the lead, two links to Septimus, two links to Honolulu. Boundless running on, got up into fourth, followed by Moa Tees running on on the outside. Barbaric is under pressure, viewed coming with a run. Profound beauty getting to the outside from Varavay and then Red Lord and Gino as they sweep to the turn, Honolulu dropped out right out quickly and Septimus has the lead. Boundless is coming after him. Alessandra Volta's beaten off. Viewed running on. Profound Beauty and Gino down the outside. Moatee's putting in his run. Boundless hit the lead at the 400 metres. Viewed dash to the front now. Viewed raced away from them from Moatee's. Here's Profound Beauty running home. Bowers coming down the outside and Sailor Gear. Viewed is clear though. 200 metres to go. Bower ran to second. Sailor Gear coming home hard. Viewed in front. Bowers a big danger. Viewed by a neck, Bauer's getting there, Viewed holding on, Bauer dives, Viewed a nose to Bauer I think, two lengths away, Sailor Gear, might have got the third from Master O'Reilly, photos all round. Right play. Ready to go, stalls are back and they're racing, Nerf Bosk veered to the right and bumped into Magic Wand shortly after the start, beginning well towards the inside, Finch and Master of Reality, Mare de Glaces closer today in the early part, pushing up out wider is Hunting Horn and also Young Star in that group with Prince of Aaron and Vow and Declare, so almost five or six across the track in the first 400 metres, Mirage Dancer behind those and then Steel Prince who's three and four wide, then Twilight payment about eighth or ninth out deeper from Raymond Tusk. Next cross counter Constantinople on the fence. Then came Southern France three and four wide from Mustagia Sound. Next Latrobe down draft and well back in the field early. Settling down is on the inside Rostropovic with also Magic Wand. Then the chosen one Il Paradiso surprise baby second last and at the end is Nerf Bosk. At the judge Vow and Declare for Australia leads with Twilight payment ambling up on its outside. A length and a quarter away then is Master of Reality in a plum spot from Young Star and the speed is muddling in the early part of the race. They were followed by Prince of Aaron, out wide a hunting horn from Steel Prince who's pulling. Next is Finch, a length and a half away Mirage Dancer, then Raymond Tusk and then came Southern France. Mare de Glass after beginning well is now about midfield, one off the fence from Constantinople as they head towards the riverside and the 1700 metres. Further back is Mustagia, there's no pace in the cup. Constantinople on the fence and then came cross counter down draft. Well back in the field now heading towards the 1650 is Latrobe and then came Sound. Further back is Surprise Baby. Magic Wand around him. Rostropovich the inside a length Il Paradiso the chosen one and at the back is Nerf Bosk. So it's Twilight Payment heading towards the 1400 metres just gets a little bit quicker.
quicker. A length and three quarters to in second, Master of Reality. They were followed by Vow and Declare, the box seat third. Then came Hunting Horn, Prince of Aaron. A length and a half, Young Star and Steel Prince still pulling. A length and a half to Finch. And then came Raymond Tusk. Next, Mirage Dancer and Constantinople at the 1,200 metres. Further back in the field, Southern France, who's a bit wide. Then Mare de Glass. Next in the field, Latrobe, Mustagia, Cross Counter, Down Draft, Sound, Mirage Dancer on the fence. A length and a quarter away at the 1,000 is Magic One trying to get going. Surprise Baby's making his move. Il Paradiso third last. And then came the Chosen One. And two further back is Nerf Bosk. So heading towards the 850 and beyond. Twilight Payment leads three quarters. Master of Reality. Hunting Horn three deep. Vow and Declare behind them from Prince of Aaron. Steel Prince trucks up about three off the lead around the turn. Mustajir with a looping run. And Finch is with him. And they were followed by Raymond Tusk. Constantinople trying to get into the clear from Murder Glass. Next behind those horses. Southern France and Downdraft. Master of Reality at the top of the straight went for home at the 400 metres. Vow and Declare back to the inside. Two legs, Prince of Aaron. Then came Hunting Horn, Il Paradiso, late Master of Reality with Vow and Declare on the inside. Then Prince of Aaron, Raymond Tusk, Finch. It's Master of Reality. Vow and Declare up on the inside. Vow and Declare, Prince of Aaron is lifting late with Il Paradiso. Master of Reality just in front. Vow and Declare kicks. Vow and Declare's won it for Australia. They're on top of the world. Beats Prince of Aaron, Il Paradiso. So in a photo finish and master of reality, a classic cup behind them, Mare de Glass, then cross counter next to finish in the race.